Hello transport nerds and welcome to day 4 of Green Bus Week. I have wanted to catch this bus ever since I found out about it. And you can join me on my first ever trip on board Brisbane Transport's Yutong E12 buses. Compared to Sydney, Melbourne and Adelaide, it took a little bit longer for Brisbane to jump on board the electric bus trend, but the reward is quiet, tailpipe emissions free travel throughout the CBD. As part of this, the free loop also scored a new livery, ditching the previous red livery that had been commonplace on the services for well over a decade. The new purple look is certainly distinctive and I reckon it looks pretty good. While I'm outside, let's talk about this bus's party trick. The destination display tells you how far off the next departure is, which on a free loop service is very handy. There have been so many times where I've wanted to know whether I'm just about to miss a bus or whether it's going to be hanging around for a few minutes and there's no need to run for it. Back inside, the interior is much more no-nonsense than the typical Volgren Optimus at Brisbane Transport, but the typical BT seat fabric and stickers remain, giving it a more cohesive design feel. Street, stop 168 near Adelaide Street. There are also some interesting touches however, such as the bells on the window surround, which are mounted to the front of the window surround and not the joined panels. This bus also has one party trick that I've been wanting to see in more vehicles for years. Internal information screens. Eagle Street, stop 153A at Eagle Street. They have made their return to Brisbane on board the Utongs and it makes a big difference for travellers who are not familiar with an area or are trying to guess how long it's going to take them to get back to their office after a lunch break. Anyway, let's talk specs. When it comes to power and torque figures, electric buses are pretty much unrivaled and with a peak output of 350 kilowatts, approximately 470 horsepower, and continuous output of around 290 and 3,200 newton meters of torque, there is nothing I've reviewed to date that doesn't run on rails that comes anywhere near these numbers. So have a listen to it now. Edward Street, stop 146 near Margaret Street.
it's certainly quiet, which means you can hear the announcements and they're not drowned out by engine noise. The only drawback of such a quiet bus is that you can hear shakes, rattles and other passengers more clearly than usual. But overall, the Yutong on the free loop is pretty impressive and I am glad to see electric bus technology making its way into Brisbane's fleet. Alice Street, stop 96A at Botanic Gardens. So, thank you for joining me and I will see you tomorrow for the final day of Green Bus Week.